is Philip Beck from IOCTAIN, and today we are going to look at how to model concepts. Yes, concepts. Uh, well, okay, but what's a concept in the first place? Because we use a lot of words, and yeah, concept, what's that? Well, in fact, you try to grasp uh, an aspect of reality in the tangible. So, let's pretend this is a pen, right? Okay, this is a pen. And we have another. Okay. A third. Fourth. Well, here I have a bunch of pens. Oh, pen. This may be a concept, the concept of a pen, this thing here. Okay. I have this, and I have a word, so I could say I have this pen concept. Well, is this a pen? No, it's just a word in the white word. Is this a pen? Yeah, it's a, it's a pen. A black pen, this black pen here. But this is also a pen. So what's pen, really? Is this this word? Is this this? Well, it's something we have in our minds and we are trying to put a representation of subjective experience. So, okay, I have this pen here, this concept, and this concept is a representation of the real uh, element. And by the way, here you may see this pen. And I may see this pen, but we are not looking at the same pen, really. It's just something that has been shown in the back of my eye and that goes through my brain. And maybe I feel it in my fingers, but you don't. But really, we are speaking about this concept. This concept of a pen. It can, it can become very physical. Uh, Let's say philosophical, and we may not get into this, but really, uh, let's uh, not forget that. So, if I look at this pen, I would like to say, well, but what is characterizing a pen? Because here I have a black pen, a green pen, a blue pen, and a red pen. Well, I may have a number of important attributes uh, which are linked to the pen, and I may have a number of them. And here I would say the color is important. So the color may be important, it's just an attribute of this pen. Um, and maybe in my pens here I have some ink, and there may be an ink level. Uh, so I may say, well, ink level is also characteristic of a pen. Right. Uh, what else? I may say, well, what's the surface? Is this really smooth or is it, you know, uh, uh, disgusting to touch and so on? Well, maybe, but here in my representation, I don't need this, for example. So, what we're talking here, we're talking about something which is called abstraction. Abstraction, hmm, what's that? Okay. Abstraction is the process by which you remove the characteristics out of a real concept to just keep the attributes you need for your purpose. And what's your purpose? And that's really important because when you do any modeling, you have to have an answer to why am I doing this? What's my purpose when I do this modeling? Okay, here I may say, well, I want to keep track of the stock of pens I have. All right, you really need to know the ink level about this. Do you need to know about the color? Do you really need about the fact that it's a pen? Read like this. Couldn't we do something like, I have an item, and this item may just have, let's say, a tracking number. Well, it may be the case. So what's important when you do modeling is that you find the key abstractions, the important abstractions. And once you have that, let's say, well, I may get back to this pen, uh, right? I may say, yeah, but I have a pen group. Pen group, yeah? A concept that is responsible for holding the notion of a group of pens. All right, then I have another concept here, and this is the concept of grouping. And this is called what? An aggregation or composition. Aggregation. And composition. Cool. By the way, we're doing UML 
without saying it. And this is, could be named a class, a class or a type presents a set of items of this concept, a set of pen, and this is a pen group, right? We may look at this this way. Um, but a pen group is not the same as the pen class, right? This is a pen, not a pen group. So this, the type of this is pen. This is a group of pens. The, the type of this is group, right? And if you ask me about what's the difference between aggregation and composition, well, aggregation, here is a group of pen. I destroy this group, but I still have the pens. So I could say, for example, we have a room, and all a number of rooms are into a building. I crush the building, there is no room anymore. This would be an aggregation. So while we are at, uh, let's say, uh, relationships, because this is a relationship, this is a this part, this, this big part is made out of these other parts. We have other concepts like, I may say, uh, an account, which is also a concept. I may say a client. So the client owns this account, a relationship. Well, by the way, how can I read this? Well, is it account on client? Not really. I will say, with a small black, in, case, in this case here green, um, uh, let's say a direction arrow, that client owns account. So, Mr. S, let's go, owns, okay. And what if my client owns multiple accounts? Well, I may write here at least one, and maybe more than one. And this account is owned by only one client. Okay, so you see, for modeling concepts, we have multiple elements. We may have the concept itself, like a class here. We have characteristics that are interesting for us, which are attributes, and we have relationships. For example, a pen group composed of pen, or an account uh, being owned by a client, a client owning multiple accounts. Uh, we have also another thing, which is like a pen. It's a way to write. So, for example, say, A way to write here, which is also a concept but more general. And to say that a general concept encompasses a less general concept, we can say that the pen is specializing the way to write. And I could say this here with a small triangle, which is a is a relationship, like a pen is a way to write. Okay? So abstraction. Aggregation, composition, here specialization or generalization, specialization this way, generalization that way, relationships and so on. These are the key elements we use for modeling concepts. But what is important in the first place is thinking about the right concepts. And for that there is no substitute for experience, but experience is one thing, but it's in the very concrete. What you are trying to find out is what are the bands into all these uh, uh, a large number of pens and by the way what are these pens look like, are they different and so on. So you may need to have really uh, an important uh, capacity for abstraction. Uh, in, the, in the future video I will show you a way to find out the key concept in a business setting very easily and this would be about archetypes. But that's it for now and thank you for watching.